Okay, YouTube, uh, Mustang Lover 1970 back here again. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do a governor removal on Harbor Freight's new Predator 212 engines with six horsepower without taking the engine apart to get the governor out. And mostly people been on YouTube been showing me that you have to take this whole plate off back here, get inside of it, and take the governor out. No, I don't think that needs to be done. So, I'm going to show you guys an easy way with this one simple screwdriver to make this engine run faster than it already can. So, this engine is going to be put on a mini bike kit we just bought off the internet. And unlike that one, it, this, that one was used. This one's going to be new. So, this is the engine that we put on it. And. This is what it looks like so far. It's from 2016, and this is the the um, what version is this? The most horsepower Hemi version or something? But this is all you got to do, basically. So I'll crank the engine up, and I'll show you how fast it goes from there. So bear with me. Okay, so now I got it running, and I'll show you what the max speed is on this thing. It can go. Hang on a second, guys. Okay, so this is how fast it can go. Okay, I'm like pushing it all the way. So, I'm gonna show you how to not make it go that slow. You're gonna make it go faster. So, start off by doing, if you want some light, take off this cover with these two tabs right here. And there's another one hidden back there. And there's a fuel line up here you might want to remove, so I'm going to do that right now. Just take that off like so, and lift the cover up like that. So now, you have room, and you see that screw right there, I'm going to point to it, because it might be hard to see. It's that one right above the screwdriver, right there. So as what this does, this is the throttle lever, so this makes the engine go a lot faster. So what this does, that screw right there, you see the one I'm pointing to, it stops it right there. So it cannot go any faster. So that's one of the main problems. So that idles, makes the engine go a certain speed. But if you're riding a mini bike or using it for some ATV like me, you might need some more extra horsepower. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna put your screwdriver in Right there. Hang on. Okay, so now I got my screwdriver in the screw, and as you can see, as I'm loosening it, it's going down farther and farther. And right there is where I'm going to leave it because there's no way this engine's probably going to get that high. Now you might say, oh, well the governor is still inside the engine, but believe it or not, this engine has probably has without a governor because this is going to be pushing it to the limits right here. So I'll show you how high we can go now. Ready? Alright, listen to this guys. So yep, as you can tell right there, it's a lot higher RPM than the other one used to be. So this engine's definitely gained a lot more power. And that's just a plain easy way than having to take the whole engine apart, which yes, it can be a pain. But the easy thing about the other engines is when they have a governor, just hooks up right around there. All you gotta do is just take off some spring and then it's removed. But this one, people always make everything harder. But the engine on this one has a lot more power than that one, that's for sure. So that's how you could take it down. Some people, you could just take the screw right out if you want. But if you want to spend the extra time to take the other governor out, might as well do it. But you be prepared 
to technically rebuild the whole engine because that's how like insane and hard it can be to remove it but yep so this is six horsepower that's a two horsepower and I'm gonna see if I can find the governor for this if I still have it hmm, I don't think I do yeah it's gone though that's for sure but that's the governor removal on a 2016 Predator 212 horsepower engine and we're putting it on an Isuzu I'm pretty sure mini by kit cheapest on the internet for like 300 bucks so we're gonna put that on there and I'm gonna show you guys a tutorial on how to build that bike and we're gonna be street racing it against the 69 Briggs and Stratton so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and I hope this has been helpful to you guys and Mustang Lover 1970s out <laughs>